Hello, and welcome back to Weekend Cartoon Reviews. This time, we're reviewing One Piece Film Red. Now, okay, okay, hold your horses, everybody. Before you all go insane, I'm just gonna say right now. But, I've never seen a single episode of One Piece. Now, I know, I know, that sounds crazy, but Liam, why did you go see this movie? I mean, I saw the Dragon Ball movie without watching anything Dragon Ball related, and I liked that one. I just haven't done a review for that one. But I decided to go see One Piece to see if I get the same effect, and yeah, I did. I enjoyed the One Piece movie. It was nice. It didn't necessarily make me want to watch the whole show, but... Because, I mean, I don't watch long anime, that's just me. I just don't watch long anime. Also, I'm sorry if the camera's bad. I've been having problems with it lately. But I'm trying here. Anyway. <clears throat> Uda stole the show to me. Uda was the best part of the movie, and I mean, that's not because she's voiced by Amelie in the dub, and I mean, I watched the dub for the movie, specifically for Amelie, that's kind of my whole reason for going to see this movie. But like, I liked its story, the story was about Uda and Luffy being childhood friends, and I like Uda always calling Luffy a sore loser, that, that was pretty funny. I mean, I don't know all these characters for One Piece, and I mean, all I know is like, Uda is Shanks' daughter. And Shanks is a very important person in One Piece, as I was told. And that, like, he's the whole reason Luffy wants to become King of the Pirates. And yeah, we get all these backstories on how Uda thought that her father just abandoned- just used her voice as a thing, and like, that his father was bad, but no. And I got that impression too, for a little bit, because I never even seen One Piece. But then, yeah, they did something where like, he- the guy, I, I don't know his name, but the guy who was, like, with Uda for pretty much the movie. I mean, she just wants to kill the pirates and wants to convince Luffy to be with her and spend his whole life with her. But she just goes on and tries killing her. The whole movie's fucking colorful and the music is great. I've been listening to New Genesis for a lot, even before this movie. New Genesis was kind of the start of convincing me to watch this movie. I really liked it. I enjoyed it. The whole movie was just great to me. Like, I'm trying to say this in a way where, like, I'm trying to review this as if I haven't watched One Piece. Because, like, obviously, I think that's what I'm doing here. <laughs> like I said, the movie was good. I mean, it's not perfect. It's definitely a solid 8 out of 10, at least. It was... Yeah. It was great. I just... Loved the fights in the movie. The fights were great. All the backstories of all the characters that were shown. I mean, there were, there were funny moments, too. There were some goofy moments. Like how Luffy was put in time out after, like, fighting with Uda. And I just like how she uses her songs and fights as well. It's just, she's a great character. She's probably the thing that I love most about this movie. And I mean, everyone else was great, too. But Uda just stole the fucking show. Every time she appeared on screen, I was just, yeah. So, yeah, I don't know what more to say about this movie is that wouldn't drag this on, to be honest. So this review might come quite short. But like I said, I recommend you to go see the movie, even though I haven't seen One Piece. And even if you haven't, I'd say you, you could go check this movie out. I mean, I understood it just fine. I'm not necessarily sure if it's friendly to newcomers. But I think I understood just about everything fine enough to a good level. But yeah, that's really all I have to say. Bye, everyone.